Assalamu alaikum student. Today we are uh, discuss about uh, Jacobi iterative method. This method is used to, for solving system of equation and the system of linear equations in numerically. Now, first of all, we want to know about where we can use Jacobi method and we want to check what is the limitation of the Jacobi iterative method. There is very simple way the if over given system of equation is diagonally dominant not only diagonally dominant it is also be strictly dominant in that case we use Jacobi iterative method what is meant by the diagonally dominant it means the first row in first row the first one element that is 8 must be greater than their sum of 4 and 3 the sum of 4 and 3 is 7 and 8 is greater than 7 it means first row is diagonally dominant in second row the second element should be greater than sum of these two but in this case 4 and 3 is 7 but here is 5 7 is greater than 5 we ignore minus sign because we discuss only the positive sign that's mean the 7 is greater than 5 we need it diagonally dominant because this one is the second row second element should be greater than sum of these two so this one is not diagonally dominant matrix in some cases here you can see in third third one this is four and the four and the, the, uh, the sum of the, these two is two plus three is five and the five and the five is greater than four so third one is also don't be dominant in in that case we can't be use Jacobi iterative method this is the limitation for Jacobi iterative method in next one question 2 in question 2 you can see the 8 is greater than 1 plus 1 2 in second one 2 and 9 is 11 but 1 this one is not diagonally dominant but we have a choice here the choice is third row is the 7 this 7 this 7 is 2 plus 1 3 and 3 is less than 7 so if we interchange both rows row 2 and 3 and we write this one in this form you people can see the second row the second row that is 1 and 2 is equal to 3 and 3 is less than 7 so second row is dominant and now on the third one in third one you can see 2 plus 1 is 3 3 is less than 9 so this one this man this system uh, the given system of equation can be solved by using Jacobi iterative method now student how to solve this one by Jacobi iterative method for this purpose first of all we find the value of x from first row y from second and z from third row and we rewrite this in this form when we calculate the value of x y and z then we put k plus 1 on the left side and k on right side all of these terms and k plus 1 in left side in right side now after that this the over given question first of all given question is this we arrange this question in this form and then 
we replace this in this form now we put k equal to 1 when we put k equal to 1 the given question reduced to this form in this form we need some value to solve this problem which one value in which we need this value when we put k equal to 1 here value is 1 and here is 0 this one is 0 1 and 0 this one is 0 1 and 0 we need value of y naught z naught x x naught z naught for this purpose we choose we take we take x naught equal to y naught equal to z naught equal to 0. If in our given question the, these, the initial values is given then we use that value. If values are not given in that case we use this value x naught y naught and z naught. Now we substitute this value in this problem and we get the result and that result is this one. How this one become? Here is x1 and we put 0, 0. When we put 0, 0 the result is 8 over 8. That is equal to 1. When we put here is 0 and 0 the result is minus 4 over minus 7 that is 4 by 7 and in third one is this one. Now we let's move on the second iteration. For second iteration, we start here from k equal to 2. When we, then we put k equal to 2. Here we put 2, 2, and 2, and right in this side 1, 1, 1. All values change by 1. When we change this value by 1, now we substitute these value in this system then we convert this problem in this form that is x2 in this we choose the uh, we put this value in this system and we get you people can use their calculator and simplify this result and simplify again and simplify again we just, this one is the second iteration we can go forward and uh, taking further more iteration at least when we see the result of x, y and z are repeat are near to each other then we stop the attrition but if given problem is only to third iteration we stop on the third iteration or fourth iteration ok student this one is the Jacobi treaty method you are on education for all. Thank you very much for watching this channel.